Good afternoon and welcome to the 2010 Virginia State Nine Ball Championships in Midlothian, Virginia, just outside of Richmond. We are here for semifinals on the winner's side action between John Newton and David Hunt, uh, two local Richmond guys. And uh, this is Brian Keller along with Max Eberly. Max, welcome to the broadcast and welcome to what I think is going to be a terrific match. Thank you. We have Brian Keller. <laughs> we have two terrific uh, left-handed players who have played each other for probably off and on for about 20 years, and uh, both native Richmonders. And they have got uh, they have got some game. These two guys. This is the semifinals of the uh, winter side action, as I mentioned. Um, the 2010 Virginia State Nine Ball Championships are brought to you by Stream for you Free from Inside Pool Magazine. Uh, we are coming to you live from one of our major sponsors, Diamond Billiards, based in Midlothian. Uh, they are a terrific local room. Some of our other sponsors we'll get to during the course of the broadcast, but one of them is, um, is Diamond Billiard Products. Uh, you can see the beautiful diamond on the table up there. As David Hunt on the leg is getting ready to break. We also have a very exciting this year, Aero Funds and Trust Wealth Management. It's the first Wall Street Mutual Fund to invest in a billiard tournament, and they chose the Richmond State, the Virginia State Nine Ball Championships because they know what a great tournament this is. So our opponents are David Hunt, who's just broken, and. because he is the dentist. Uh, we got one in uh, Southern California, Jerry Lynn, good friend of mine and great player in LA. They call him the dentist. They call him the dentist yeah. too? So that's because he's always getting people's too. teeth out? Oh, he's yeah. actually a dentist, okay. He is, he is. <laughs> him and his wife have their own dentist shops. I always figured it was, you know, in David's case, it was because he was taking people's teeth out, but it turns out he actually is a dentist and a very, very good one actually. I don't know his game too much. I know he, just to be here, he's got to be a solid player. I've known him for a long time. And uh, Well, I'll tell you how good he is. He finished 15th in the Derby City Nine Ball in 2005. Mm -hmm. um, he ran 106 balls at the Predator Straight Pool Championships a couple of years ago. Nice. So he plays, and, and he had just taken up straight pool. He really he, he became a fan of it as a result of watching some people play. And it's my favorite game, and he he's a he's really got a really nice game. Well, he's uh, he's got a tough opponent. John Newton is uh, known as Jordan around here because yep. he's he's a good basketball player, and uh, he got second last year in this tournament. Being six foot seven or eight kind of helps you as a basketball player. <laughs> he's a big boy. Yeah, and it helps you reach some pool shots too. Absolutely, I I don't think I've ever seen John use a bridge. Wow, Dave snapped that five ball in. Well, just the way he's but shooting now is going to shape up to be a good match, I mm -hmm. think. I'd like to see these guys come out and uh, run some balls with confidence on this TV table. That's kind of their game. His, his safety game is also very strong. He, he can play for a big guy. He's got terrific touch. I've seen mm -hmm. him play some wonderful... One and two rail safes that were just gorgeous. I think his mother's here today. It's the first time she's ever watched him play on a big really? table. Oh, very cool. His girlfriend. And 
David Hunt looking at this nine ball to take the early lead one nothing. I wonder who's here to watch David. His uh, his girlfriend is here watching him today as well. So it's going to be a cat fight. We have <laughs> <laughs> You're hoping for extra television, aren't yeah. you, Max? I like that. <laughs> All right, so David Hunt goes up one nothing with that nine ball. Congratulations, <laughs> David. Some of our other sponsors for the Virginia State Nine Ball Championships, McDermott Q is the official Q of this year's championships. Simonis, Simonis Cloth is our, is our cloth of choice here at Diamond Billiards. And the um, tight rack is what we're using in this, in this championship. You watch the player's rack, you'll not see a mechanical rack. They're using the, the tight rack system. That is, a, um, that is a, a fascinating system to use. You get a perfect rack with every ball touching every time. Uh, when it's set up properly, and uh, it's it's really uh, it's an interesting thing to break with. Um, I've had one on my table at home for about a month, and I still haven't figured it out. But then I'm I'm kind of a hack. Man, what, so the uh, break rack, the, the the tight rack that we're tight using rack. here. Yeah. So David breaks off in game two, and looks like he's draw he's broken dry. So John Newton will step to the table to see his first chance to play. John has been playing for about 20 years, and uh, he he also has quite a background. He had uh, he played on the Campbell Tour in 1996, was the 1997 National Viking Tour eight ball championship. He's won the Richmond City Championships in nine ball three times. He also won the City One Pocket once, and uh, he loves to play all sports, but basketball in particular is one of his faves. I guess it would be mine if I was that tall. He also is a pretty, uh, pretty substantial poker player. Who, John? Uh-huh. Actually, both the, both the guys will play a little cards. I've seen them at the poker table a time or two. I think uh, John's got God on his side on the poker table. Think so? I'm just kind of joking around. I don't, but he's, <laughs> uh, he, he's considering becoming a minister. Yes, he is. Lately. He's a, yep, he is a... He says, put God first. That's what he says. God's out there, depending on which God is your God. I wonder, uh, well, you know, you, everybody has their own yep, that's take true. on it. Back to the pool game, though. I'm a Buddhist myself. Oh, are you? Yeah, I am. That's a great, Actually. great religion. I read the Book of Buddha twice in Japan when I went over there for the All Japan Championships. Yeah. That was, instead of the Bible, they have the Book of Buddha. Really? In the, in the uh, hotel. In the hotel? Huh. So I read it. Really, really great. It's fascinating, book. yeah. Ooh, Dave missed a pretty simple three ball there, but looks like he might have gotten lucky with the roll. Oh now it looks like John can see the three, yeah. so John will come to the table with a chance to possibly get out here. Down one game to nothing. John, uh, Jordan. His mom is here, by the way. That's what he said. I haven't seen her, but she's probably here by now. I don't know if I know what his mom looks like. Big tall girl? Yeah. I wanted to thank you, uh, Max, for some of your insights yesterday working that match with you. Uh, it actually helped my game. I, I found myself playing some, uh, playing some nice pool the last couple of days. I appreciate the Glad appreciate the assist. Thank you. My pleasure. So John's looking pretty good here. He, he's a very fast player when he when he gets in stroke. He doesn't spend a whole lot of time gawking. He's got a nice shape in the eight ball. that rack he does his data in line pretty well yes he did and John Newton puts one up on the board and it's a game of peace score tied one to one in this race to nine semifinal match on the winner's side some other sponsors that uh, we're very proud to have poolschool.info those of you looking for uh, a place
place to really fine tune your game, check out Randy Gottlicker's Pro, uh, Pool School. It's a great place. ProPool.com is doing our stats for us this go around. Inside Pool Magazine is our streaming provider, and we thank J.R. Calvert, publisher of Inside Pool, for bellying up to the to the table and, and helping us with uh, with sponsoring this tournament. We've got a we've got a really really big purse, uh, biggest one in the history of the event, the seventh Virginia State Nine Ball Championships. We have a ten thousand dollar purse. Uh, I saw the payouts this morning. First place is paying twenty one hundred dollars plus entry into the U.S. Open. Second place is paying, I think I saw 1400 plus entry into the U.S. Open. We had eight female players in this for the first time. Top finisher got uh, entry into the U.S. Open as well. We'd like to congratulate Angie Hawkins, who beat Sherry Bruner, local player from Richmond. Angie's from the Tidewater area down near Virginia Beach, plays out of Q Masters. We want to congratulate Angie Hawkins for winning a playoff with Sherry Bruner and she will be enjoying her play in the U.S. Open come October. John Newton breaks off in game three. He made the very one. solid there, Brian, and uh, wasn't rewarded. No, he wasn't. He made, made a ball, but he's hooked himself. Could be pushing out. So David Hunt will have his choice. He comes heading up to the table to eyeball it, decide what he wants to do. Probably looking at a routine safety, holding the cue ball behind the eight and four. And Playing the two ball off the, ball off the foot yeah. rail and back up. Might be a little tricky though. To both hide the cue ball. Yeah, just getting that two ball. Yeah, so it was I good. think that'll work. Yeah. That'll you work. know, I played almost that exact same safe in my match this morning, and uh, the guy I was playing jumped the length of the table, fired the ball into the corner pocket, and got perfect shape on the next ball. Jump, jump cues are, when you know how to use them, they're they're quite the weapon. Oh yeah. As powerful as John Stroke is, he's not a fan of jumps. Prefers to, he's kind of old school. Prefers to play uh, kick shots and fired that one in like it was nothing. So might play the nine ball carom here. I like that shot too. He just doesn't want to leave him a shot on the three in case he misses the nine. Exactly. So is the shot to roll the three ball into the eight and four, just kind of leave it there if you're going to play the carom? Yeah, although I don't know. He might just roll it over to the side rail. It depends on the angle. Yeah, he needed to hit it thinner. Yep, sure did. And he's left, he's left David and out. No simple one, but he's left him something. Is the four right down here on the spot? Looks to me like the four is down here in the... Uh, in the rack or close to the rack. Well, if he can avoid that six ball up table, come back up two rails for the four, he's all right. Right. Well, he got away with it. He's left him a lot, left himself a long shot, but he got yeah. away with bumping into the six. This is what you call four ball run out. If you make the four, you're going to run out. As long as you get shape. Make the four and get shape and you're out. Yep. There Most you go. Most likely. I wouldn't bet up against him from this position, that's for sure. I got that that from uh, Charlie Williams. He actually he calls it the one ball run out. You know, if you make if you just make the one ball, tough shot on the one, mm -hmm. then you're gonna get out because mm -hmm. it's real easy. Mm -hmm. The one ball run out. The one ball run out. Yeah. I still have to make all those other ones though. in a while. <laughs> Just enough to make me keep coming back to play. The game is like that. You know, it's a fickle mistress. It likes to 
likes to mess with you. Just like golf, you play it just a horrible round and sink a 30-footer on the 18th hole for a birdie, and you suddenly think, okay, I'll play tomorrow. <laughs> so, pulls the same way. All right, so David Hunt looking uh, looking pretty good for a chance to go up two to one. He'll play the eight in the side, go up to the head rail and come back down. Finals winner side action 2010 Virginia State Nine Ball Championships. I'm Brian Keller along Max Everly, who has been kind enough to travel down from uh, Cleveland, you said? Yeah, via, Cleveland. Via Air Alvin. That's right. Alvin <laughs> Nelson Air. Alvin Nelson, our, our Air stream Alvin. guy. Air Alvin, the Toyota coming, Air. From Cal coming from Cleveland. Pictures, a few good pictures. Put them up on Facebook. Cool. If anybody wants to be uh, friends or uh, join my page, uh, Max Everly's Pro Pool School, you can check that out on Facebook. I'll do it as soon as I get home. Cool. Picking up lots of great uh, tips from Max this weekend. I'm looking forward to to getting in your. You started. You set an eight-day boot camp. Yeah, you can sign up on my website, maxeverly.com. Uh, just sign up for free, and I'll send you eight videos, one every three days. Uh, just basically free lessons on your stroke and aim. And Terrific. Really important things. Yeah, thanks. A little something for everybody. MaxEverly.com, folks. Get in there and check it out. Uh, David Hunt's broken dry here, and John comes to the table. Wondering about the rest of the players in the field want to know how your favorite Richmond player finished. You can go to www.va-pool.com and see the uh, the brackets as they they're putting them up in real time. You can see who's doing what, see how your favorite players are doing. So David takes a look at that push, hands it back to John, and John comes to the table. Here, Max. Safety on the one. Well, I think one into the six. There, you know, that was a, wasn't a lot he could do with that. No, there wasn't. And he left a little meat on the bone for David. David could play two rail safety on the one, get down here, get everything behind this cluster. Go for that six ball. Mm -hmm. David chooses to play safe and does not. Ooh, that's going to cost the most likely. Wow. So John Newton's patience comes through for opponent to make a mistake. I see a good friend of mine from up in Maryland, Rich Rose. lost this morning. I didn't make the money round. I finished 17th through 24th. I lost this morning. Thanks for asking, though. I had a, I had a good tournament. Still, that's a pretty easy shot for him, so he's just, he's just laughing at himself. He's not comfortable yet, probably. Not quite comfortable. This table plays different than the rest of the tables in the house, no doubt about it. John's no stranger to the to the spotlight, though. He was uh, finished second last year in this tournament to eventual winner Brandon Shove, and uh, he has always done traditionally done well in the in the state championships. Really solid player. Meanwhile, David looks pretty comfortable and uh, he's controlling the ball pretty well. That's the name of the game. I mean, this guy he can run 106 balls in straight pool. Clearing off a rack like this is going to be no problem. Yep. 
as you as you begin to get better, as you begin to get better, that's the and you play better players. That's probably the most difficult part of the whole thing is is realizing you can't make a mistake. I mean, I know it is for me. That was a real nice shot there. Just the touch. That was a tough shot. He had to play really short, tight position on that five ball. It's, that's a straight pull shot, right? It really that's is. A little tight position. I love that yep, stuff. I do too. That's a, that's a great shot. Plus one pocket. If you're playing one pocket and you're running out, you have to David is a like David is a huge one pocket player. Okay. So, and he he plays all games really well. The only thing I've not seen him play is uh, caroms. Yeah, this guy can play. Huh? And I'm guessing this is a winter side match. This is a winter side. This is uh, one of two semifinals on the winter side. The other winter side final is uh, semifinal is pitting uh, last year's champ Brandon Schuff with the 2008 champion Larry Kressel and uh, 2007 champion Larry Kressel. And that is uh, that's a grudge match because Kressel, when he won in 2007, beat Brandon Schuff. Really? For the title, so uh, it's quite a. We've got a lot of former champions right in the mix of this, and they're they're just dying to, to get the trophy again. We have not had in the seven years of the Virginia State Nine Ball Championships, we have not had a repeat winner yet. So everybody's fighting hard. David Hunt clears. Back, back winner. He, not even a two-time winner. I think uh, Chris Lore is a two-time winner, though, if I'm not mistaken. That, that's on his resume. Or you know what? He did win. You're absolutely right. Yeah. He won twice. I forgot I that. Rob my bad. He, well, I, you're right, and I, I apologize, Chris. Right. Chris did win twice. <laughs> He's our only two. Shuff, Brandon Shuff finished twice, a uh, second twice in a row mm -hmm. before finally winning last year. So David's up 3-1. David is up 3-1. So this is actually the quarterfinals. It's the semifinals of the winner's bracket. Semifinals of the winner's bracket, right. Winner of this goes to the hot seat bench. So David has broken and made a ball. See the one ball. I'll tell you about a little bit about the playing conditions. This diamond table is it plays beautifully. It's got Simonis 860 on it, and uh, the pockets for those of you wondering at home, four and a quarter inch pockets it is uh, it is tight. That's the shot I was looking that at. That is a beauty. It Look didn't at have that. A lot of space to get. Get in you get sure did. Window. Space between the five and seven was really tight. That was well played. And, and between the corner and the seven. And John is going to kick a couple of rails at this one. Makes a good hit. And is not rewarded by hiding the ball, but he's left David a pretty tough shot. David will play one rail behind the Three, and I think he's left an opening. He left him straight in. He left him a shot. He sure did. Six balls block him. Yep, made it to the corner. Very well done. Here is a little. This is somewhat of a tricky shot because it's got an angle on this too. You can go across between two rails or just hold it out and miss it. Came a little long in that position. He pulled way back there for the three. I guess wow. he didn't want to mess with the game guess behind not. the seven. Yeah, I guess not. But uh, and he's left. Shot. Yeah, I don't think David has a clear look. He's going to kick at this, or maybe semi-mess, say it a little bit. If you're going to play real fast and loose on these tables, you better be aware of how tight they are and, and not bobble them around. Right. Because sometimes certain tables, you can you can just shoot real fast and bobble him in all over the place and run out. Now but David played the anywhere. opposite side of that of the two ball and uh, rattled it in the pocket and left John a shot. So for those of you tuning in 
on our stream. The, uh, the loss side brackets are down to, I believe there are eight players. There are four on the winner's side. This is one of the semifinal matches. The other semifinal, I don't know if it started on the other table or not. All right, John is uh, looking pretty comfortable here. He's got a pretty easy through ball out from here. David Bowman is not here. It's a great question. I don't know. Q Masters, maybe? Mm -hmm. House Pro at Q Masters. I wonder if he's even playing that much anymore. I don't know. He usually plays in the open. And John clears the rack. 3 2. He's down three games to two to David Hunt, the semifinal match on the winner's bracket of the 2010 Virginia State Nine Ball Championships. We're glad you're with us. Brian Keller alongside Max Everly. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Aero Funds and Trust Wealth Management is one of our sponsors. It's the first time a mutual fund, Wall Street Mutual Fund, has invested in the support for pool. We're very proud that they chose the Virginia State Nine Ball Championships. Uh, what they told me was that they are so impressed with tournament promoter Joshua Dickerson's handling of this event, his professionalism, that uh, they just felt like this was the place to start and see where they'd go with it. It's nice to have a uh, you know, non-pool, cool. non-traditional pool sponsor. That's very cool. Diamond Billiards, our host facility. If you've never been to Richmond or you're looking for a chance to come down and do something, play a little pool, the Diamond Billiards facility on the south side of town is in Midlothian, just, just outside the city limits. A terrific venue. 14 beautiful tables, full service bar, great food. I just had lunch and it was killer. John just misses the nine and kisses it in with the cue wow. ball on the second wow. pass. And John boys. suddenly has tied the game and tied the score in three games all. Um, it's fascinating to watch with the tight rack system. That you, either the nine ball no, goes nowhere right. or it get, gets kicked and gets screaming all over the table. It's the wildest thing. Really makes for exciting, exciting play. Oh, he needed that one huh? to, to tie it up quickly. Anyway, uh, our stat master is telling us that uh, David Hunt is shooting at a 9:29 pace, and John is at an 8:45 pace before that last cracking the nine in on the break. 1,000 being perfect. 1,000 right. being perfect play. So those are still pretty, pretty stout. Yeah. Stouts for pretty stout stats for uh, for a state championship. These guys have both played in the U.S. Open before national championships. 